Gerald, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of the medical preparedness website doomandbloom.net and author of the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books. Last time we discussed the fact that heat waves are on the way for both the U.S. Midwest and the East Coast, as well as the European continent this time, sending heat indexes as high as the 110s. I mentioned that the heat index is a measure of the effects of air temperature combined with high humidity. Exposure to full sun increases the reported heat index by as much as 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And above about 60% relative humidity, loss of heat by perspiration is impaired. And all this increases the chance of heat-related illness. Here are some tips to avoid heat exhaustion and heat stroke this summer. If you're at home, keep your blinds closed. It can make up to a 20 degree difference in the amount of heat in the home. If you have drapes, make sure they're white so that they can reflect heat. And speaking of reflecting heat, consider applying some reflective film to the windows that wind up getting the most exposure. Consider cooking outside. Ovens and stoves could give off a lot of heat that stays trapped in the home. So if your house is hot already, cooking inside is just gonna make it hotter. Run your ceiling fan counterclockwise. Especially in the summer, cool air collects near the floor, while hot air rises to the ceiling. The blades of a ceiling fan push air down, which forces the cool air near the floor to move outward and redistribute. The movement of air can help a room feel several degrees cooler. Put a nice big bowl of ice in front of your standalone fan to blow cooler air around. We have used this method every year every summer and it always gives us a nice cool breeze even if the air blowing into the fan gets really hot. Feeling hot at night? Well, dip your feet in a basin of ice cold water. I'll bet you'll feel better. Also, you might consider filling up some cool water in a sprayer like this and give yourself a couple of good sprays. It might help you feel better as the fluid evaporates from your skin. How about in the car? Just about every car in the U.S. has air conditioning, so keep up to date with coolant changes as recommended by the manufacturer. Your local dealer can check your refrigerant level before the heat wave begins. Keep an emergency kit in your car that has water for hydration and some shake and break cold packs like you find in our medical kits over at store.doomandbloom.net. And for goodness sake, do not leave kids or pets unattended in hot cars, ever. Let's say you're on foot. I want you to wear light materials that reflect heat, stick with cotton or linen, and stay away from black. We walk around a little dehydrated all the time, so I want you to drink some fluids even if you're not thirsty. Now, it's very important to shade your face and neck. These areas get burnt very quickly. Add a wide brim hat like this one is just the ticket. Actually, not the ticket for me because it looks silly, but for Amy, actually it looks great on her and it really protects her sensitive skin. They might not be the height of fashion, but they'll sure give you some protection. If you have to run or otherwise exert yourself during a hot spell, do it as early in the morning as you possibly can when the temperature is at its lowest, or switch to exercising indoors for a while. And don't forget the sunscreen, very important. Apply 15 minutes before you go out in the sun and reapply it frequently throughout the day. Your sweat washes it off. Your skin will thank you for using sunscreen. So stay cool out there. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Begin your journey to medical preparedness with the Survival Medicine Handbook, the essential guide for when medical help is not on the way. Now in its 700-page third edition, plus our new book, Alton's Antibiotics and Infectious Disease, The Layman's Guide to Available Antibacterials in Austere Settings. And last but not least, by checking out Nurse Amy's medical kits and individual supplies at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you didn't.